Ladies and gentlemen, I present the area board director, Mr. Stephen Ross.
the invocation will be by the control panel. Please stand. Bow your head. We remember those who have lost their lives in New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. We are also mindful of the sacrifice of public servants who demonstrated the greatest love of all by laying down their lives for friends. We commit their souls to your eternal care and celebrate their gift to a fallen humanity. May all of us remember with love and compassion this day. May we grieve with those who still mourn and share memory with those who cannot forget. May we draw strength from those who bravely responded and gave their lives to save others. May we stand with strangers who become neighbors that day and remember their generosity and hospitality. Above all, God, may we remember your faithfulness and learn to trust in your unfailing love. Amen. Please be seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, Captain 138, here we go.
Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please bow your heads for a moment of silence. Ladies and gentlemen, closing prayer for myself and the As we come together to pay tribute to those who sacrificed their lives, those filled with bravery, firefighters and rescue crews, we pray for the comfort and strength for the families and friends of those who tragically passed on. We pray for healing and patience for those who survived and to continue with daily physically and psychological pain. Let us all pray for peace and continued safety. Let us continue to do good deeds to one another. Let us learn to share and care and honor each individual life. We honor and pay tribute to those who are in the service and those who keep us safe each and every day, every hour, every minute, and every second. Let us all be an example of what it means to be a light unto others, respecting and honoring each human being. We will not let that pain cloud our hopes or crush our hearts. Let us grow in faith and pray together for all those who perish, and may their souls have an everlasting peace. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony for September 11th. Again, I would like to thank all our guests, workers, friends, and families that have come to gather to share this time with us. Uh, there will be refreshments in the back. You guys, have a great day. Be safe. Watch each other's six. God bless. Thank you. We didn't have the opportunity to introduce this event. It's the annual 9-11 commemoration at the Champlain border crossing. When we arrived for this 8.30 event, about 8.20, we saw nobody directing people away from where it normally is held, which is right there. So we walked down there and knocked on a few doors that aren't open to the general public. There are no, no signage telling us that it had been moved. Apparently everybody else got the word except uh, yours truly because it was held in the far corner of this large building here. So it took us a while to find it. We arrived in that building at 829. They were just underway. And uh, you saw what we saw. So thanks for watching Hometown Cable. Uh, we apologize, but as we said, nobody was out here guiding us. Apparently they guided everybody else except the yours truly. But uh, we were able to get, except for the very opening of the ceremony, we were able to, to get uh, the remainder of it.